We bring in former Nebraska eye back. He's the Big Red Zone expert, Damon Benning of 1620 The Zone. Well, Memorial Stadium rejoiced when the Cornhuskers lined up eye formation late in the second quarter. It worked for a few plays. Why did it work? Well, I think a couple of different reasons. Number one, Ohio State was a defensive line that was predicated on their stuff defense. They want to play behind line of scrimmage. They play gaps. The best way to neutralize that is the trap game. A lot, a lot of quick hitters, the fullback dives. And then the 32-38 option right here, which was extremely old school. It's what we used to run was kind of a nuance. Ohio State hadn't seen it and actually got uh, Nebraska was so good on that drive where it forced Ohio State to call a timeout just to adjust. A steady diet of it is really tough. The dive game from the fullback standpoint is on you in a hurry. Uh, the 21 personnel with downhill action forces you to play it differently as a defense. I think it's a nice wrinkle. Well, on the other side of the ball, J.K. Dobbins went for 178 yards, seven yards a carry. Yeah. Nebraska's going to face a running back like this in a couple of weeks with a guy like Jonathan Taylor at Wisconsin. What does the defense have to learn from a game like this? Well, you got to get multiple hats to the ball. He's a, game, he's a guy where, and I've seen them do this in practice, they've got a drill, the vice drill, where uh, you kind of stack your run fits and make sure you're inside, outside. And then you've got to wrap up. You've got to bring your hands and get guys to the ground. Dobbins is a grown man. He is explosive. He's got very good change of direction. He's a violent runner, a lot like Taylor, who arguably is faster in his career right now than he was at any point since he's been at Wisconsin. So a couple of the big takeaways are to gang tackle, multiple hats to the ball, and really use your leverage. You've got to use the sideline as your friend and know where your help is coming from.